everyone. It's Gian alum at Convincing Crypto, where we keep you in the loop on all the latest trends and news on crypto and blockchain technology. Together, we're building a crypto movement that fights climate justice and economic empowerment. Today, I have another big update for the Cardano community and anybody interested in crypto regulation. Here's the article. Cardano is decentralized by almost every metric, so it should be safe from the SEC, says Coin Bureau. I know a lot of folks in the crypto space, including myself, have been really worried about the SEC v. Ripple case. Um, depending on that decision, a lot of cryptocurrencies could be named securities, and that would mean that they would have to be overseen by the U.S. government, and they would have to follow a lot more regulations. So a little bit worried about that, but luckily, a lot of folks in the crypto community prominent news anchors and prominent people in IOG and put Output Global, the research and development arm of Cardano, have been explaining why the Cardano community shouldn't be worried about such regulations. So I want to go over what they've been saying. Coin Bureau, a popular crypto analysis show stated, although ADA is likely to continue declining until we hit the true bear market bottom, its long-term performance ultimately depends on Cardano's upcoming milestones. Cardano has a few issues to sort out, but hey, Every single crypto project does. Conflicts between crypto projects are part and parcel of the bear market, and Cardano has never rushed its ecosystem growth. Cardano is also decentralized by almost every metric, so it should be safe from the SEC. Even so, these concerns are important because the last thing you want is to be caught off guard. If Cardano survives all the crypto and macro factors over the coming months, then I will consider adding ADA back to my crypto portfolio. This is not financial advice or anything, I truly believe that slow and steady wins the race and that Cardano will survive because it has solid projects and they're really taking the time to make sure they're all sound. Jerry Fragiascatos, the chief commercial officer at Input Output Global, also explained what makes Cardano different from many other blockchains. He stated, Another big differentiator of Cardano is that there are not many insiders. If you look at the distribution of ownership on Cardano, it's primarily individuals. There are very few whales, very few insiders. There were no VCs that took 30%, 40%, 50% of it. So that's another very different thing, which again, just comes from the mission, vision, and cascades down. The VCs who are like, sorry, where's my ROI next quarter? If it's not there, they'll say it's a ghost chain. Plus, they're also incentivized to create that fun, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. I think time will tell. And I think we're taking the right approach. And... I think we will be one of the ones that come out the other side of this, including some of the more, you know, do things quickly and break fast. We'll see what happens with crypto regulation within the next few weeks. What I really like about the Cardano community is that they're truly a community. It's not VC run and they're actual people who care about the use case and the projects of Cardano and how they're being used to change the world. So I think that's one of our biggest strengths. We're not run by whales. We're not run by VCs. We're a decentralized network, and we really care about what blockchain can be doing to change the world. So um, everyone in the Colorado community, everyone who cares about using blockchain for good, hang in there. I think that even in this bear market, we're going to survive. It's just going to be a long, slow process, but we'll be okay with this regulation. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're scared about regulation, if there's any other Colorado projects that you want covered, let me know. I'd love to hear that. But that's the rest of the day. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. Feel free to share this with your friends if you enjoyed this content. And I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.